Today, state lawmakers are trying something new, inviting all of us into the budget conversation. For the first time ever, the Joint Budget Committee is taking public comment. Denver 7's Micah Smith is live at the state capitol. And Micah, it seems like everyone has an opinion about how our tax dollars should be spent. <coughs> Yes, whether it's transportation, tax breaks, or education, if you've ever been frustrated with how the government spends your tax dollars, you can let state lawmakers know all about it today. The Joint Budget Committee's public meeting will be at 1.30 at the Legislative Services Building on 14th Avenue. The state budget for the upcoming fiscal year, which starts in July, is worth more than $30 billion. The JBC is looking for the public to tell them what their budget priorities are for that money. You may recall the government the governor does this by submitting a budget each year, which is in fact just a suggestion. It's actually the joint budget committee that writes the state budget and decides how those dollars are spent. So the Joint Budget Committee uh, is six members of the legislature, and we are tasked with essentially uh, writing our state's budget every single year. And so uh, we have complete management and oversight over all the different state departments and all of the services that state government offers. Joint Budget Committee Chairman Dominic Moreno says the goal of this meeting is to be more transparent and to give the public a say before the budget is finalized. Live from the Capitol, Micah Smith, Denver 7. Thanks, Micah. And ahead of today's meeting, this is a look at how Colorado spent our tax money last year and what Governor Polis wants to spend this year. Last year, the state spent $30.6 billion total. That included $4.2 billion on K-12 education, $3.9 billion on health care and human services, $1.4 billion on corrections, and a $1 billion on higher education. Governor Polis's budget is uh, requesting $31.7 billion. That's a 4.4 percent increase over last year. The governor's biggest request is $227 million for free full day kindergarten. He has also requested $2 million to create a parental leave program for state employees and $1.8 million for 16 new positions on the state oil and gas conservation commission, including five new well inspectors.